Hello folks, uh, today's question is uh, 2007, October, November, paper 2, and uh, question number is uh, something else, Here it's, it's 14, but there it is something else. So, the anyway, the problem is uh, concerned with uh, current and electricity. It says that an electric shower unit, shower unit, is to be fitted in a house, yes. The shower is rated as uh, 10.5 kilowatt to 30 volt is power rating. The shower unit is connected to a 230 volt main supply main supply by a cable of length 16 meters. So this is the cable of length uh, 16 meters. So it which has got two copper wires. So these are the internal structure and uh, this hole is the is what appears from outside. And uh, for ease what they have done is they have uh, uh, constricted the 16 meters into this small length. Now uh, the first question is show that for normal operation of the shower unit, the uh, current is approximately 46 ampere. So, um, this current is obtained by from the uh, specifications given here. So, we have got power is equal to 10.5 kilowatt, which is equal to 10,500 watt, and uh, volt equal to 230 volt, which means that the current is given by power by V because power equal to IV equal to 10,500 divided this is 230 and it comes to be uh, equal to equal to around 45.6 45.6 uh, ampere which becomes equal to 46 amperes so uh, not so uh, difficult task now the resistance of the two wires two wires in the cable causes the potential difference across the shower unit to be reduced. It gives 230 volt, but because of the resistance here, the PD here is slightly reduced. The potential difference across the shower unit must not be less than 225 volt. So this thing should not be less than 225 volt. So that means the supply is 230 volt. Here it should not be less than 225 volt. So that means the PD in across the wires, the PD across the wires should not be more than should not be more than uh, 230 minus 225 equal to 5 volt. So the PD across these wires should not be more than 5 volt. So uh, we are given the resistivity is given as something and uh, current is again uh, current is again I is equal to 46 uh, uh, ampere. Now we have to find the maximum allowed resistance of the cable. So the R max should be equal to R max should be equal to uh, equally equally equal to uh, the V max V in the wires max max by the current equal to V max is equal to 5 volt and the current is of 46 we have to use we are using 46 here because it's given as 46 so this gives 0 0.10 sorry sorry 0 point 0 0.0 point 0.109 ohm so the maximum resistance allowed is 0 point 109 ohm now the minimum area of the cross section of each wire in the cable so what we have here is the total length of the wire through which the current flows is in 32 the total L is equal to 32 meters meters and we have to find the area so we have R is equal to rho L by area so R a is equal to rho L by R. Now since R equal to R max, since R equal to R max, our A will be the minimum area. So we have A minimum is equal to equal to rho L by R max. That's equal to uh, the rho is given as it was given previously. So this is the resistivity rho. It is 1.8 into 10 to the power minus uh, 10 to the power minus 8 ohm meter into length is at uh, 32 meters and 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 the resistance is given as um, it is 0 0.109 so this whole will be equal to equal to 5.29 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter square so the area is equal to 5.29 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter square now, next question, connecting the shower unit to the main supply by means of a cable having wires with two small arc crossing would significantly reduce the power output of the shower unit. So that means if 
the wires have two small cross section two small cross section their resistance will be high so that means the power loss there will be high and it gives a less power to this unit so assuming the shower is uh, operating at uh, 210 volt rather than 230 volt and that its resistance is unchanged determine the ratio so power is the ratio of power is equal to v uh, v 210 square by r divided v 230 square by r r are gone so it is simply 210 square by 230 square and that becomes equal to that becomes equal to equal to 0 0.83 so the ratio of the powers is equal to 0 0.83 now suggest and explain one further assembly of using wires of small cross-sectional area in the cable so the less power obtained by less power obtained by this thing is one of the disadvantages so we have to go for another one so what i mean is so because of uh, uh, so if we have got small cross sectional area area so if uh, a is less a is less r will be high r will be high so the pd across the wires wires will be high will be high which makes which makes or i can say uh, simply if r is high r is high i will have the power loss will be high power loss equal to i square into r will be high will be high this causes heating so causing causing heating causing heating and because of this heating what could happen happen is the insulation might break down the insulation insulation melts melts even the wire can melt wire can uh, melt uh, this could cause power failure power failure failure and often sometimes it might cause short circuit as well short circuit as well so, so lots of disadvantages because of this small cross-sectional cross area